for decades, the rich world has exported mountains of waste to poor countries. But the third world has shut their doors. Now our recycling system doesn't work. Let's find out what went wrong. Recycling plants in the rich world separate out the most valuable components, like bottles, cardboard, cans and tins, from recycled waste. The rest of the waste that was less valuable was too expensive to process in the West due to high labour costs. So the idea was that third world countries with low labour costs could turn waste products like plastic packaging into consumer products, like plastic bags. In theory, it was a win-win situation, creating jobs abroad and allowing the rich world to get rid of their waste in what was claimed was an environmentally friendly way. About half of the paper and two-thirds of the plastic waste in the UK is shipped across the globe in container ships and sent to places like Asia for processing. That was, until the start of 2018, how it worked but China have since closed their doors. As part of its national sword policy, the government banned the import of most types of waste. There were a few reasons behind this, but a few months prior to the ban, a documentary called Plastic China went viral across the country before being deleted by censors. It revealed the dirty secrets of the recycling industry, from piles of plastics being burned in a thick smog to children picking their way through mountains of waste for glimmers of valuable, high-quality plastics. Following the ban, waste was increasingly sent to places such as Vietnam, Thailand and Indonesia, who were happy to accept the tons of waste at premium prices. However, these countries have very high rates of what researchers call waste mismanagement. This is a political correct way of saying that they burn it out in the open, or dump it into illegal landfills or the ocean. Many other low-income countries across Asia have followed suit and levied de facto bans on the import of plastics, leaving the West's recycling facilities overwhelmed. The thing is though, recycling has always been something of a myth. Even before the Chinese ban on imports, only 9% of the plastics sent there were actually recycled. 12% was burned and the rest was put to landfill or dumped into the rivers and the ocean. Of course, the solution for this is for Europe and North America to develop their recycling infrastructure, but this will take time and money. And in the meantime, while this infrastructure is being built, the costs to recycle are skyrocketing. Part of the reason China became such a recycling hub was due to the cheap consumer goods being shipped to the Americas and Europe from China. The vessels would largely be emptied during the return to China, so filling the ships with recycling on return was cheap and made good business sense. And now that it's becoming more expensive to recycle, recycled plastics are becoming more expensive than virgin plastics, which only makes the problem worse, as it is no longer commercially viable to recycle these materials. So what's being done whilst infrastructure is being built across Europe and North America? One of the leading solutions is also one of the least popular, incineration. Power plants that burn waste products are on the rise in the UK, with 11 million tonnes being burned to produce electricity. Before the China ban, the incinerator has only burned around 660 5,000 tonnes. These plants are unpopular with environmentalists and recent studies have shown that even state-of-the-art facilities with extensive filtering still emit harmful dioxins to the surrounding area. So what else can be done? Governments have been taking action including the EU, who have imposed bans on single-use plastics. The UK also plans on levying attacks on manufacturers who don't make their packaging easy to recycle. Norway has also implemented a tax relief scheme for companies that ensure their products are recyclable. But until the rich world fully develops its own infrastructure to deal with waste, sorted and segregated plastics will continue to end up in incinerators. If you liked the video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more.